In this video, we will show you all the tips and tricks related to physical data shipping, an innovative Acronis service that allows end customers experiencing a low speed or high cost internet connection to transfer large volumes of data to the cloud storage. With this service, the end customer can save the first full backup locally and then send it to a data center for upload. As soon as the data center personnel receives the drive, they upload the data to the cloud storage. The subsequent data transfers will reflect only the changes to the initially uploaded data and thus can be performed using even a low internet bandwidth. The physical data shipping service is available by default in the Acronis Cyber Cloud, an innovative platform targeted at managed service providers, telcos, and resellers. It protects all the customer's data sources such as servers, workstations, mobile devices, and Office 365 mailboxes anytime, anywhere, and faster than anyone else. The physical data shipping service can be managed through the Acronis Cyber Cloud Management Console, a sophisticated web-based tool that you can use to trace and manage all of your backup and recovery operations. The physical data shipping service is compatible with all recent versions of the most popular web browsers such as Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Opera, and Safari. As regards other browsers, please notice that the service UI might be displayed incorrectly in those browsers or some functions might not be available. The physical data shipping service supports the following interface types of hard drives, SATA, eSATA, and USB 3.0. Please notice that IDE or ATA and SCSI drives are not currently supported. First, we will show you step-by-step -step how the end customer can perform their first full backup by means of the Acronis Cyber Cloud. Then, we will demonstrate to you how the end customer can create a shipping order and package and send the hard drive to the data center. Finally, we will have a look at the tracking and monitoring capabilities of the physical data shipping service. Part 1. Creating the first full backup. First, let's have a look at how to create the first full backup on a dedicated hard drive that will be subsequently sent to the data center. Thus, attach a drive to the machine that you would like to back up. Log into the Acronis Cyber Cloud Management Console using your customer credentials. Select the machine that you would like to backup in the list of devices. Press the backup button in the right pop-up panel. Specify a name for the new backup plan. In the section, What to Backup, select Entire Machine if you would like to create a full backup of the selected machine. Alternatively, you can specify disks or volumes folders, files, or even the system state to back up. Let's back up the entire machine. It should be noted that the first full backup will be initiated manually and stored on a hard drive that will be sent by mail to the data center. However, the subsequent incremental backups will be created automatically according to the settings specified in the backup plan. Thus, in the section, Where to Backup, you should specify the cloud storage for storing your incremental backups. In the section Schedule, you can specify a schedule for conducting automatic incremental backups, for instance, every Friday at 11 p.m. In the section How Long to Keep, you can specify the retention policy, that is, how long to keep the old backups. Click the gear icon next to the backup plan name and navigate to Physical Data Shipping. Enable the Physical Data Shipping switch and press the Done button. In the section Physical Data Shipping, specify the drive dedicated to storing the full backup as the destination. Please notice that the backup must be located in the root directory of a volume. Finally, you need to enable encryption 
and protect your backups with a sophisticated password. Since your hard drives will be transmitted to the data center through a potentially vulnerable physical channel, we strongly recommend protecting your backup with a strong password. Press the Create button to complete the backup plan creation process. Press the Run Now button to initiate the backup process manually. If you would like to backup another machine, just attach the same drive to that machine and perform the same steps. As an option, you can create the first full backup also on a shared network drive and then copy it to the dedicated hard drive. Part 2. Creating a Shipping Order As the next step, you need to create a shipping order using the Order Creation tool. In order to get the Order Creation tool, log into the Management Console, navigate to Overview, and then Usage. Click on the Physical Data Shipping tab and press the Manage Service button. Alternatively, you can navigate to the section Clients, select a desired customer, and press the three dots next to the customer's name. In the pop-up menu, select Manage Service, and then Physical Data Shipping. Navigate to Downloads, and select one of the available options. That is, Order Creation Tool for Windows or Linux. Along with the tool, you need to download and install also Microsoft Visual C++ 2003 Redistributable Package. As soon as the tool is installed, attach the drive with the created full backup to the machine and launch the tool. Provide your login and password for your Acronis CyberCloud partner or customer account, and click Sign In. Select a drive to add to the order, and press the Next button. The software will display the shipping address. While keeping the order creation tool up and running, go to your carrier's website. We strongly recommend you to use only recognized providers such as UPS, FedEx, or DHL. On the carrier's website, you need to provide the shipping address displayed in the order creation tool to create a shipment label and obtain a tracking number. Moreover, if you want your hard drive returned, you need to create also a prepaid return shipment label. We recommend you use overnight shipping if you want to start your incremental backups as soon as possible. Please consult your carrier support to get more information about the most cost-efficient delivery method to get your hard drive back. Switch back to the order creation tool and provide the tracking number obtained in the carrier's website. Should you face any problems, this will simplify subsequent support procedures both on the Acronis and carrier side. If you have a return shipment label, tick the checkbox I enclosed a prepaid return shipment label for returning my drives. Press the Create Order button to finalize the process of creating the shipping order. Part 3. Packaging the hard drive As the next step, you need to properly package the hard drive and send it to the data center. First, delicately remove the hard drive from the machine and disconnect all cables and adapters from it. Secondly, Place the hard drive into an anti-static bag to protect it from electrostatic discharge. If you do not have an anti-static bag, simply wrap the hard drive in aluminum foil. Third, use a sturdy box that is at least twice the size of the drive. Pack the drive with bubble wrap around all six sides so that it can fit tightly into the box and cannot be moved within. Pack also all necessary cables and adapters for the hard drive. Please notice that the data center personnel will not be able to process your physical data shipping order if there are no cables included. Avoid using styrofoam peanuts for packing, as they do not provide enough protection. Moreover, under no circumstances, send the hard drive in a padded envelope, since it is highly unreliable. Fourth, put your return shipment label in the box. Please notice that if you do not enclose the label, 
your hard drive will be securely discarded. Fifth, securely seal the box with sturdy tape. Then stick the shipment label to the top of the box so the label does not wrap around the edge of the package. Six, send the drive to the data center by post. Part four, tracking and monitoring capabilities of the physical data shipping service. Finally, let's have a look at the tracking and monitoring capabilities of the physical data shipping service. Log into the management console, navigate to the physical data shipping tab, and press the manage service button. On the tab, Active Orders, you can see the information about all of your active orders, including the drive-specific information, such as the hard drive name, size, and interface type, the backup-specific information, such as the backup name and size, and the order-specific information, such as the date of the order, tracking number, and status. Each order can have one of six possible statuses. First, the status submitted means that the corresponding order was successfully submitted by the order creation tool you can now ship the hard drive to the data center. Second, the status processing implies that the hard drive was received by the data center personnel and is being processed. Third, the status data uploaded sent for recycling means that the data has been successfully uploaded to the cloud storage and the hard drive was sent for recycling since the corresponding return shipment label was not enclosed in the box. Fourth, the status data uploaded shipped back implies that the data has been successfully uploaded to the cloud storage and the hard drive has been shipped back. Fifth, the status order canceled sent for recycling means the physical data shipping order was canceled and the hard drive was sent for recycling. Finally, the status order canceled shipped back implies that the physical data shipping order was canceled and the hard drive was shipped back. Please notice that in order to cancel an order, you need to contact your service provider, Support. In this case, canceling the order does not free up the physical data shipping quota. The hard drive will be sent back or recycled depending on the presence of the return shipment label. The order may also be canceled if the data processing was not successful. For example, the hard drive was damaged or the data on the drive did not meet the physical data shipping requirements. In this case, the support team will contact you and then cancel the order. Please notice that all order statuses except submitted and processing mean that the corresponding order is completed and no further operations are possible for this order. Well, that's it. Are you excited about the capabilities of the Acronis Cyber Cloud? You have an opportunity to try our easy, efficient, and secure cyber protection solution right now. Just go to our website at www.acronis.com and request a trial account for the Acronis Cyber Cloud. Well, have fun!